The moon hangs heavy in the late night sky, yet the Pope's still full. Let's have a look why. The day was long and offered nothing of cheer. How about a story over a mug of beer? Crowd around all who dwell here. I'm Jack. Call me the storyteller. Quiet down and lend me your ear. I know exactly what you want to hear. I'll spin you a yarn, and before I'm through, you'll be as sure as I that every word is true. It's about a brave little girl with hardly a fear, who looked for her life like any of these kids here. But wait, who's this stumbling onto the stage? A round of applause for our leading lady. Her name is Abby. She lived in a quaint little village just like... like this one. Trust me, it's not so important where you are from. Even the meekest hick town has stories galore. So that one I'm telling might as well be yours. A little circus was in town, traveling their route, wooing the locals wherever they were about. And amongst all these passers-by, here's Abby. Would you like to say hi? Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? She's not here by chance, though. No, this isn't a visit. This is her home. Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention, the artiste! A meager little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. Someone to the rescue! Can I be saved, nice guy? Well done! You've almost got it! Don't stop now, use your wit! Phenomenal, Abby. Do tell. The 
ringmaster praises, you've mastered that well. But now the hours have whiled away. That was the last performance of the day. Alas, when she's not before the cheering crowd, Abby's life is far from proud. You had the audience cheering for more. The ringmaster praises and then locks the door. Poor Abby, held in a small cage day and night, only free for the length of a staged fight. Food and lodging, if you eat like a bird. But, oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? A pair of rats take heed and bring an apple in her hour of need. The ringmaster storms in, disturbed it seems. What's going on here? He stomps and screams. Should she suffice with the bars of a cage? No. She belongs on the world's wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. And carefully, carefully, don't make a sound. She slips away from the ringmaster's grounds. Who are us? Abby knows too well how his captivity feels. Raging beast? Hardly. A trusted friend also. <laughs> Abby, Abby, don't you see the threads holding you up also hold you back? Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams and never come true. Ah, hopefully no one heard that. Together, dear Abby, you can move mountains. Was it worth it? All this trouble? Urs and Abby can continue their struggle. But what's that? The ringmaster? We've been found out. Fast! Oh my! Ah, the loyalty of a beast. So often attributed to the heart. But perhaps a deficiency of the intellect? Apparently Urs found Abby's cage to be smaller than his own. Well done, Urs. Though, now she's alone. Quick now, Abby, run away. Don't look back. It's the start of a new day. Abby wanted the world, and it shows itself at its best. The fields, the flowers. But you can't afford to rest. The voices pursuing her they slowly subdue to wind stroking grass, cricket orchestras, sounds all so new. Stone by stone, tree by tree, world without commands, 
It's strange to be free. The evening sky paints the air, colouring over Abby's despair. Sunbeams tingling with warmth, inviting you, continue forth. The world is beautiful, Abby. Look at its colors. Take it in while you can. Enjoy the wonders. It's just a windmill standing still, perhaps envying you for your free will. It is what it is, a stubborn wooden thing. Still, you can't get past it with your strings. That's the way. The mill waves Abby goodbye its arms swinging high in the sky. Little Abby stops with a shiver. If you want to be free, you'll have to cross the river. Resourceful little lass. Where there's no bridge, she uses her class. Uh oh! Without tools, determination comes up empty. May I lend you a strength, lest fatigue be too tempting? See, you can trust me. A hunter's cabin. A light looks inviting, eh, Abby? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be.
girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little cart out of the way. Abby, what are you doing? The... the strings? What are you doing with the strings? Stop that. The wolf has lived his life. Let him be. What the? What did I tell you? You have to do what I say. If you don't listen to me, I can't help you. Got it? What do we care what's happened to a wolf? The wolf is yonder, to become dog fodder. And who freed him from the planks? Heroic Abbey. Yet not a single word of thanks. The trees block Abbey with wooden claws. They're afraid they'll burn their paws. Mud, thunder and lightning are terrible opponents. Poor little Abby has to endure some trying moments. Alone in the world, she runs wildly about, while the embers of freedom are slowly down. Well, well, Abby. World isn't all campfires and song, eh? Aye. Abby, Abby, you know you can't crawl under anything. You know very well it catches your string. Ah, very clever. I've heard tales of creatures in these woods. Dangerous vermin, up to no good. hideous legs, ready to devour you, catch you in her web. recommend you flee.
It's raining. Well, you certainly seem to feel confident at the end of my strings. Your torch, Abby. It's going out. wasn't built in a day. Abby, do you see how much you need me? This is no place to do. Careful. What you couldn't manage, someone else could do. Oh, Abby, what have you gotten yourself into? Tiptoe away, Abby. Quiet. Whoever is able to slay a spider like that is possibly not the most compassionate. That... that's a ringmaster, all decked out in a dark forest, and conspiratively whispering with who? About what? Oh my, it's Tonda, the merciless plunderer. He's the one who tore the spider asunder. Abby's weight in gold shall be yours if you bring her back through my circus doors. Since she's gone, my world has gone black. Damn it, I want the little brat back. The ringmaster pleaded, the ringmaster whined, but Tonda just laughed and sipped his wine. Remember the bear? We caught him in a day without further ado. A little lost juggler girl won't cost but a few. Ringmaster, have your reward ready. We'll bring your abbey back just as I told. Get ready, men. We'll be bathing in gold. The mercenaries and thieves gather round Tonda, as hungry and determined as a huge anaconda. Their leader is big enough for two, strong enough for five. He'll do anything for a buck and more to survive. The bandits get back to their work, building a castle, or at least a fort. That looked painful.
have without some smart up in your crown. All the muscle in the world will only weigh you down. Once you sneak past certain death, it's easy to believe that life lies ahead. But Abby, you thought your luck had turned, but in fact it's merely whimpered and squirmed. And now, only thickets too thick for a girl. So where is this oh-so-beautiful world? Dangers lurking in that swamp, Abby. Smell that, Abby? That's death. The world's perfect. You have to look at a thing if you want to see it. If you want to survive, you can't be squeamish. It's Thunder and his gang. Run, Abby. Run for your life. You can't get away. Thunder calls through the woods. Watch out. Or have you grown so accustomed to me, Abby? Thunder grunts. Enraged. Abby's nowhere to be found. He's not used to having his prey escape the hunting ground. A moment of grace can have an exorbitant price. Abby's freedom is at the roll of the dice. <laughs> 